Greetings, fellow survivors. We are back. As you can see, we got a demo guy. And I have a junk turret. So, let's just see what happens when we place this junk turret down. And it shoots the demo guy. And just like all of the times before, you can see it on the ground right here. The junk turret will blow up the demo guy. So we're just going to pick that thing up because we don't want this thing out and about. So let us go over here. Now, I would like to point out that you do not need this many auto turrets. The only reason why I have so many auto turrets is, well, for the effectiveness of it. That way we don't have to sit here for an hour and wait. All right, so we do have plenty of gas in here. That one's still got plenty of gas. Check some of the bullets because we did play with these earlier. All right, so we are pretty good. Let's go ahead and actually start on the shotgun side. So everything is off currently. Let's go ahead and just spawn one demo guy currently. Okay. So we got one demo guy. We have all of our stuff is uh, set up. So if we were to flip the switch... Interesting. Shotguns all shot him, and he did not blow up, nor did his actual light turn red. So, let's actually get us, say, let's get five out here. Five of them's a decent little group of demo guys, if you think about it. So, let's go ahead. And just like I thought, even with five demo guys, it still did not set off one single bomb. All of their buttons are still intact. Body da, right? It's simple. Let's come over here to this side, make sure that's off. Let's come over here to this side. We'll check out the demo guy versus the 9mm SMGs. Well... Obviously, other than how much faster he died, you can tell that he still didn't blow up. Okay, so let's turn it off and let's, let's get five more out here. And that's five. Alright, so we got them all sitting there. And shoot them up. So, as you can tell currently, in the game, the junk turret, or not the, the junk turret actually sucks, but the auto 9mm and the auto 12 gauge are very, very effective against the demolition guys, and they no longer set off their little bit of C4 on their chest, causing massive craters in the ground like this, right? So, as long as we can avoid destruction like this, it makes it a lot easier. And, being that the demo guys can get shot with the turrets, I do believe we can actually get loot bags to drop from them now. As long as they're considered a player kill, I do believe. Let's actually turn it back off. Let's go ahead and... I don't want to do 25... Let's just go ahead and sit here real quick and see how long it takes for another bag to drop because there was currently one. Oh, and there's your answer right there, folks. He just dropped a bag right there. I was wondering what they were shooting at. He wasn't dead. So yes, you can actually tell right there that the auto turrets will actually allow you to get your red bag still. So, these are not obviously early game. You might get lucky. You might be able to find one in your uh, in your local trader. You might be able to find a schematic to build one, etc. 
However, these are definitely not early, early game, especially considering it takes, you know, electricity to get these things going. And then all the bullets. Personally, I do like the 9mm over the shotgun. However, I'm not going to actually just stick to one versus the other. I would actually currently use a combination of both because when we spawn a whole bunch over here on this side, you can actually see there's kind of like a bind on the shotguns and they're reloading. You'll actually hear a pause in between a lot of them and that is the reloading. There is a, re -long, a pretty long reload time on the shotgun. So if you were to combine that with the actual uh, SMG auto turret, it should actually make it for a lot more enjoyable experience. Less reload time, more shooting, more things dying, you know, basically all the good stuff. The shotguns really don't, eh, my computer don't really like the shotguns. They, they tend to lag a little bit. The auto turrets, eh, not too much, not too much. And we can see now in the background out there, getting a whole bunch of uh, screamers spawning in. It's because we got, we got things running over here. Oop, I think I just turned that one back on. There we go. So we do have a whole bunch of screamers that are, look like they're starting to spawn in. So we're just going to go ahead and... There we are. Luxuries of being in a, in a, I guess you can say a test world, right? All right. So again, remember, this is completely overkill, completely unnecessary. If anything, it's just going to add a lot of lag to your system. Multiplayer, that many turrets set up might actually be unplayable, depending on, you know, the server. But keep in mind that they no longer set off the demo guys and it makes it a lot easier to kill them in matter of fact um setting up a, a horde night base might be a little bit different as well demo guys previously only showed up at the beginning of your horde night and toward the end of the night you did not see them usually around the second wave or so uh there were no more no more demolition guys so being able to turn these on and off may be key to not wasting ammo because, I mean, let's face it, we should all be able to take down regular zombies, right? Just might need a little bit of assistance when it comes to the bigger, badder motherfuckers out there. So, till next time, keep your weapons reloaded. Don't forget to check your auto turrets in that as well. And I will see you in the next one.